Hello and welcome to Pause to Pray. This week we are going to consider some of the main ways that God chooses to make us like our hero, Jesus, his son. As Christians we experience the joys and the challenges of belonging to two families. It's while we're relating within our earthly family and our church family that God begins to remake us more into the image of his son. In Philippians we read, it's God who works in you to will and to act according to his good purpose, that you may become blameless and pure, children of God without fault in a crooked and depraved generation in which you shine like stars. Today we'll think about our own family. We don't choose to be born into this family, but God chose it for us. Some of us may not have many relatives now, and others have lots, but all of us are affected and influenced by our earthly family. Let's pause and remember the joys and the challenges we have faced in our own family. God put us in our family to do us good and in order that others get to know him. Families affect our upbringing, our initial view of the world. Having things in common, we can relate more naturally to family members than to other people very often. At least, that is often so at the beginning and towards the end of our life. Family members often help us out in difficulties and support us when ill health strikes. They're able to tell us our shortcomings and to be very frank with us. God gives us a responsibility towards them. In Colossians, we read of God's principles for households. Wives, submit yourselves to your husbands as is fitting in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and do not be harsh with them. Children, obey your parents in everything, for this pleases the Lord. Fathers, do not embitter your children, or they will become discouraged. In the Ten Commandments we're told, Honour your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. We are to respect each family member and never hate them. We should pray regularly for our extended family and do our best to ensure each one has a chance to understand and respond to God's love. Let's pause. What will my family remember me for when I die? What will they or strangers find in my house and among my belongings? Let's pray. Thank you, Father, for my earthly family, my relatives and all you've taught me through them. Please continue to use them to change me into the person you want me to be. May the way I relate to my family glorify you and may I continue to grow in shining like a star in your sight. For Jesus' sake. Amen. God chose Mary especially to be the mother of Jesus and he chose Joseph to be his stepfather, guiding him and providing brothers and sisters for him to play with and to relate to as he grew up. As Jesus was brought up in an earthly family, he understands our family situations and challenges. So we don't need to be afraid to tell him what we face in our family. When we have difficulty understanding our children, it's good to remember that God is at work in their lives too. Sometimes we won't understand what God is doing, nor where he's taking them. 
Jesus' parents didn't always understand him. Remember when, age 12, he was lost during a visit to Jerusalem and his mother asked, Son, why have you treated us like this? Your father and I have been anxiously searching for you. Why were you searching for me? he asked. Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? But they didn't understand what he was saying to them. Then he went down to Nazareth with them and was obedient to them. But his mother treasured all these things in her heart and Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in favour with God and man. While on the cross dying, Jesus showed love for his widowed mother by asking John to care for her. Because Jesus was both God and a human, he really understands the challenges we face in our family. During COVID lockdown and isolation, many have had feelings of weariness, exasperation, anger, misunderstanding, hopelessness, exhaustion and despondency. We should be ready to make changes in the way we handle matters and continually ask God to guide us. If we're willing, he can turn such feelings into something a blessing for our family, something ultimately for his glory. Let's pause and think about how we have reacted to our family members, whether in our household or when we connect with them on the phone or over the internet. Heavenly Father, we confess that often we have failed to allow you to change us during the challenges of the COVID pandemic. We've looked at ourselves and our weaknesses instead of looking to you for help in making us like your lovely son. Thank you that despite our weaknesses, you are continuing to work in us to make us shine like stars in and through our family circumstances. Please strengthen us to be malleable in your hands. We ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.